All right, guys, so we are headed to our next adventure. It's the beginning of a new day, and uh, we just left Kanab, Utah. We had a beautiful uh, morning there. We stayed the night, and uh, that, was a, that was a nice little town. We enjoyed it there. It's a nice, small little town, uh, beautiful. We had a little steak dinner there last night at, uh, what was it, Iron Horse? Uh, nice little place, nice people there, and beautiful ride. I forget what highway this is. Let me look. Let me look this up real quick. We're on 89 South. We are headed to Page, Arizona, and we're we're headed to Horseshoe Bend. That's our next destination. But I also figured out that there's a dam on the way, which is the Glen Canyon Dam. I didn't realize that we were headed there at first, but then when I looked at the route, uh, so we're going to be going by the dam. So we're going to stop and see the Glen Canyon Dam on the way to the. Uh, the horseshoe bend so we're gonna we're gonna put the dam in the video and then we're gonna go to the horseshoe bend and see that as well and that's gonna be the section of the uh, Grand Canyon that we're gonna see on this on this trip then we got some other places we're going to after that which would be like Monument Valley and uh, Four Corners uh, National Monument so we're excited about that but this has been a beautiful drive all through Utah uh, Utah is a beautiful state this whole mountain range that's like to our left here that's been uh, continuous all the way through this drive has been uh, magnificent. So beautiful drive. Looking forward to getting there. We're gonna we're gonna bring uh, lots of video and some cool pictures. And Abby is hot rodding it to uh, get around this slow car right here. <laughs> all right, so we'll see you at the dam. So we think we're headed. I mean, we see some stacks over there. It looks like it may be a power plant or something. I don't know if that's the dam, but it's the way we're headed. We got about 10 miles to go. Look how pretty it is, man. One thing I love about this trip is that I've never seen this kind of landscape before in person. It's a lot different than being in Florida, seeing trees. that is out there all right we can just see the dam there and the bridge you have to go over yes. all right guys this is stepping out of the visitor center at the uh, Glen Canyon Dam Standing on the wall. All right, Abby, keep off the wall then. Beautiful. We have gorgeous weather for it too. Nice and cool. It's awesome. Yeah, I think it's engineered just like the Hoover Dam. I mean, we haven't done any research on it. I haven't read up on it and learned anything about it, but it looks like it's engineered uh, very similar to the Hoover Dam based off the uh, the little squares of how they poured it and the shape of it. And I'm sure they engineered it to, to work just like the, uh, the Hoover Dam. They got Lake Powell that's behind it. So I did ask that you know you can see cars down there parked on top. So those that's uh, people that work down inside the dam there, and they do offer the tours. Uh, we're not going to take the tour today though. We got other stops that we want to make. Highway 89, so we'll be heading over that shortly. Headed down to the Horseshoe Bend, and just another look at the dam. They have one of the 
turbine setup down there that you can see on display. All right, we're gonna head out and we got a little drive down that way. We're gonna go check out Horseshoe Bend. We're excited to see that. Ready to it's go? It's the picture that's on my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It is on the credit card. It is. I, I've wanted to see it for a long time. All right, so let's go check it out. It's gonna be a beautiful place too. We got some great weather for it. This is a really nice stop right here. This is yeah. a beautiful place. And there's a lot to see. They do offer tours down there, uh, but there's a lot of people here and they've got there's just there's a huge group of people going down there right now and it wasn't sort of like set in my schedule to uh our schedule to go down there so i want to go to uh, horseshoe bend and monument valley to fill out our day so that's what we're going to go do so and four corners and four corners we're going to hit four corners and i'm excited to see that so let's get to it <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing looking down in the So they uh, rooted us down here into another parking lot. All right, so uh, they got a shuttle bus that runs about every 15 minutes. And uh, we're waiting on them to come and pick us up, take us down there to Horseshoe Bend, and then we'll check it out. Okay, we made it out to Horseshoe Bend. Just got dropped off by the bus. And there's a trail that goes out to it. And we are on our way. You can see the parking lot there behind us doing construction, some improvements. Got a little hike out there. That's pretty. How you doing, Abby? We're getting there. Oh wow, it's a, <clears throat> it's a heck of a hike down there, isn't it? that far. All right, so it's down there. We got a little ways to go. Wow. All righty, so we're about uh, about halfway down, let's say. It's probably a good mile, maybe a mile and a half walk down here. You can see it, but you just can't see down in the canyon yet. Okay, we are just about there. I'm excited. Getting excited to see this. All right. I had no idea that this was such a popular place. It didn't look like it was this crowded on the on the map. <laughs> All right, here we go. We can find us a spot to squeeze down here. Wow. Wow. There it is. <laughs> We had to get the video too. It's awesome. We got a good awesome. It's beautiful right here. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Down there, horseshoe bend. So yeah, green at the bottom. It is. It's very green down there. You look way
So they got the fence right here, but if you really want to test things, you can just walk out there on the rock and get you some pictures of what some of these people are doing. That was wonderful. We had a great time visiting the Horseshoe Bend. We're on our way back to the bus now. Maybe get a couple more pictures up here. It's really beautiful up here in the desert. Beautiful weather, sunny. It is cold, and by the way, it's in the 40s today and the wind is blowing. That's why I got my beanie on and we got our sweaters on. Abby likes to call them sweatshirts. I call them a sweater. But anyway, Which is so cute. she thinks it's cute that I call it a sweater. And she says, I, I say it funny too. And it's because I'm from the South. But anyway, by the way, they are doing some improvement here. You know, every video I take, there's always a lawnmower or a blower or a weed eater or something. So this time they're, they're, uh, there's a guy over there with a uh, spike tamp going on. Why not? So internal combustion engine going on over there just like every video I take when we're adventuring. But anyway, this is a beautiful spot. So out here in uh, Page, Arizona, beautiful place. Love it. My Apple Watch is going to think that it's on someone else. Oh, really? Because I'm hiking so much. It's going to go. Whoa, hold up. You hike today? Stop putting it on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> getting way some, too many steps for you. Finally getting in some exercise. <laughs> Just taking a little pit stop for some water. Abby's uh, talking to the fam there, showing a picture off. Just look at the people that they funnel in and out of here. I mean, it just doesn't end. Amazing. Whew. It's good for us though. It's a lot of exercise, which uh, we need, but I'm liking this. All right, guys, one final shot before we head on out of here. Looking out into the desert. It's been a great visit. Loved it here. Come and check it out. It's a beautiful place.